Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. I am in the middle of the woods. There's a gravel road here. Uh, I'm taking a gravel road to get to another meetup spot where I can uh, connect with my son. Got some water across the way and I uh, just figured I'd stop in a nice quiet place, shoot today's video. So today I wanted to talk about awareness of what's happening. All right. And just being self-aware is really important. But before we do that, listen to the quiet. May have a, a car run down this uh, gravel road, but uh, for now, listen. Beautiful. I'll let you take a look at the mountain behind me. It's gorgeous. Breathe in that peace. Breathe in that calm. Breathe in that nature. All right, so awareness of what's happening. It's pretty simple. So much of what we do on a daily basis is on autopilot, particularly around our pain or our symptoms. And we're just flat out on autopilot. You know, we get a twinge. We have a thought, oh no, that oh no creates more fear. We create an expectation that, uh oh, this is the start of something really bad. That, expe that expectation literally leads to more symptoms or pain because that's how the brain works. If we expect something, the brain can literally create it. And by saying, oh no, here comes the pain, we're basically confirming the brain's perception of danger. And what does that do? It basically says, uh, here comes the pain. And then the pain comes, and then what do we end up doing? We panic, and then we end up in a full-blown flare-up, right? And so, it's, um, it's that process that I'm encouraging you to start to become aware of. From a minor twinge, we can go from a twinge to a thought, uh-oh, to an expectation, Darn it, here it comes to the actual symptom. Um, and if we can become aware of what's going on there, you know what? We've got an opportunity to stop that process before it gets too far downstream. So if the normal process is symptom, uh-oh, thought, fear, here comes the symptom, expectation, panic, here's the the pain and it escalates, if that's what happens, and it probably happens pretty reliably, why not become more aware of what you do right after the twinge? If you go, ouch, oh, I'm not going to do that again because I know where this leads. And here's where you have the opportunity to calmly reassure yourself that there's really nothing bad going on. I'm okay. This is just a twinge. Nothing bad happened. I didn't fall down the steps. I didn't, you know, get hit by a bus. Nothing bad happened. So I'm not going to catastrophize a little twinge or a tweak in my body. Or even if, even if the symptoms come in pretty hard and fast, you can still notice this same exact process happening. I think uh, I've seen more pickup trucks per vehicle on these couple of days in Vermont so far than I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of crazy up here. So even if the symptoms come in hard and fast, with a big ouch, or oh, we still have the opportunity to be aware that that's what's happening and make a rational decision about how I am going to respond to that. I can either do the same thing. Here's a symptom. Uh-oh fear, panic, expectation, more symptoms, boom, 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 right? Or even if the symptoms come on hard and fast, you can still go, time out, nothing bad happened. I didn't do anything. Look, our bodies are not nearly as fragile or easily broken as possible. I've said it many times and I'm gonna keep on saying it because I really wanna drill it in. The perception of pain or symptoms is not evidence of damage. 
It's not image. It's not evidence of a problem with your body. It's just evidence that your brain is perceiving some type of danger. Pain is a very unreliable indicator of the condition of your body. So anytime you get a pain, just recognize first and foremost, huh, what's my brain perceiving that's dangerous? Now, if you did just fall down the steps and you're laying in a, in a crumpled up pile down at the bottom, you can go, yeah, the brain's perceiving danger, of course, and that's why I hurt. But 99.99999% of the time, everything that we're dealing with in this mind-body TMS space is not physical. It's really not. It's all just the brain misinterpreting what's going on and sometimes throwing up a little warning. And so look at a twinge as just a little warning that goes, hey, what's going on? Now, if you run screaming from the house as if the house is on fire, oh my God, I got another twinge. What's going on? First it's this, then it's that. And you're freaking, freaking, freaking. The brain that was just really going, hey, here's a little warning, twinge. Looks at your response, watches your response, and goes, holy crap, that must have been a big problem. And things can spiral out of control pretty quickly. So the most powerful thing you've got at your disposal is how you choose to respond to whatever the heck is going on in your body. You're hearing noises, you're feeling a lump. Well, lumps you may want to get checked out just for, you know, the the C word. Um, but you get my point. Like, if things feel, muscles feel tight, you're feeling a symptom, just ask yourself, why is my brain perceiving danger? Emotionally, mentally. Uh, relationship, family stress, life stress, rela I, I said relationship, um, yeah, financial stress, work stress, going on a trip. You might even be excited, but the brain's still going, oh, can we handle that? So if there's ever any symptoms, just kind of check in. What's my brain perceiving that's dangerous? But again, awareness, awareness, awareness. Just notice what's going on and think back over your recent episodes where you've had a twinge or a tweak or even a boom, hard, hard uh, appearance of pain and think back as to how you responded. What was the sequence? Typically, it's feeling the symptom, uh-oh, fear, expectation, panic, symptom escalating. That's a very common pattern. So if you know that that's what's going on, awareness of what's going on, what's happening, it's really much easier to go, oh, twinge, didn't need to be a problem. Because inevitably, if you've had this happen a number of times and the pain's escalated, that doesn't have to happen all the time. If you get the twinge and you go, mm, time out, nothing bad happened, I'm not going to buy into the fear. I'm going to calmly reassure myself, but speak very specifically to my own brain and say, come on, brain, nothing bad happened. I'm calm, and therefore you should be too. I'm not concerned, nor should you be concerned. It's pretty easy how you see that if perceived danger is what's driving this, and that's truly what it is, then it's very clear how couple of cars. It's very clear if perceived danger is what's driving this, it's very clear that not buying into the fear of a little twinge or even a pow appearance of pain, not buying into that fear can absolutely take that steam out of the balloon and things can settle down a lot quicker than you realize. So panic is never an effective strategy. Did a video on that a while ago, but I just really wanted to talk to you about awareness. So I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to get on my way, find my son at the next meetup spot. We're literally just meeting off at an intersection in the middle of nowhere. And if you uh, look around, you will see this is truly the middle of nowhere. Gravel roads, not even paved. So love you guys and gals. I will... Uh, See you tomorrow. Take care.